the Big Bang was not a singularity. Why do so many people think so? Well, here's the story. The universe is full of stuff, and we know it expands. Let's look at a two-dimensional slice, that is, a plane, and we let time run upward. The plane would, of course, be infinite, but we'll only look at a small part of it. Now, we can predict what the future expansion will look like. We see that the universe expands and cools, and we can calculate the past. The universe shrinks and it gets hot. So, what do we get at the bottom? This is where people get confused. Well, it depends on your model. Einstein's field equations are difficult to solve, but there are some simple solutions called the Friedman solutions. And because they are simple, they are popular. In this model, at the bottom, there is a time zero with a singularity. The singularity has infinite temperature and infinite density. But how does this model compare with the reality? Well, we have data suggesting that the temperature was not infinite. And according to other data, very early, there was extra fast expansion called inflation. Then, instead of a singularity, we would have an inflaton field. This inflaton field may have no beginning. We don't know. Our universe then started like a small bubble. And when cosmologists talk of the Big Bang, they usually mean the early part of this bubble. They don't mean a singularity. The Friedman models are classical. They ignore quantum mechanics. And no theory is expected to be correct under extreme conditions, like when things go to infinity. For more videos on relativity and quantum physics, go to physicsisnotweird.com.